Hey everybody, Sean here from Shooty School. Today we're focusing on how to get an audio clip from Ableton Live into Easy Drummer 3's bandmate in case you're having issues. So let's get started. I'm on PC at the moment. I'm going to start typing Ableton Live after I hit my Windows key. And let me just set up this session real quick. I'm going to change the tempo to 134. Stephen Paracone, great guitarist, lent me this Repairing Hands song. Thank you, Stephen. The link to him is in the description. Let me just drag this out to the session real quick. Listen to this part. Cool arpeggiated electric guitar. So I want to set a loop. My snap is enabled, so I'm just going to click where I want to start the loop and drag to where I want to end it. And then here's the main key command to remember. It's Control J on PC, Command J on Mac. I'll hit that. What this does is it carves out this little clip from the rest of the audio file so we can drag just that into bandmate. That's the key command you're going to want to remember. So, you know, so let me just get Easy Drummer 3 up and running here. I'm going to drag it to a MIDI track. And then I'll select the bandmate tab. And theoretically, when it comes to Ableton Live, I should be able to just grab this consolidated file and drop it here. And you want to grab it by the title up here, not by the, the waveform. So I'll grab it, drag it, drop it, I'll let go. Could not read audio file, that's our first error. So if you're not receiving that error, you don't even need to watch this video, so you know. But here's what you should do if you get that error. So I'm going to hit my Windows key, start typing Ableton. I'm going to right click on Ableton and run as administrator. And I will accept the security permissions to be able to do that. So now I'm back. Tempo is 134. Let me get tune track up since that's the first thing I saw. Put it right here. I'm going to open up the bandmate tab. There we go. Let me go over to Repairing Hands, grab that electric guitar track. And then I'm going to select Easy Drummer. Let's get that plugin up. Now, let me find that loop again. Yep, it's right here. Control J, Command J on Mac. And now I'm going to grab this audio file and drag it down to the bandmate drop zone. And if Easy Drama 3 disappears when you try to track an audio file to it, go to your options, settings, and under plugins, turn off auto hide plugin. So I'm going to grab it by the header where the title is, drag it and drop it. It still doesn't work. Pain in the butt. Cannot read audio file. Simple trick from here on out, if you're running into both of these errors, you haven't saved your Ableton Live session yet. File, save live set. Save. Now let's try and drag that audio file. Awesome. Now bandmates working in Ableton Live on PC. And on Mac, you shouldn't have any of these problems at all. But when it comes to using Ableton Live before this version, I'm on version 12 right now. Let's say you're on 11 or 10. You might want to try this. I can't present this perfectly because I'm on Ableton 12, not a prior version. So let's use our imagination. Let's pretend bandmates not being used yet. And let's pretend we just consolidated this little clip from the rest of our song. Okay. So let's start here. I'm going to want to rename this clip. So I'll hit Control R or Command R on Mac. And I'm going to start the name with three zeros so it's easier to find later in a big bin full of clips. And then I'll name it accordingly. This is a guitar arpeggio. Now, in a newer version of Ableton, you can actually go to Current Project, go into Samples, and there's that consolidated file right here. It didn't inherit the name, but here's the file. And you could actually drag this file into Bandmate. Let's see if that works. It does. This is how you're going to do it in an older version of Ableton, except you don't go to current project samples and find this. You're going to go to a project samples folder. That's the directory you're looking for. Once you find that folder, you'll be able to find your clip, except it'll be named 000 guitar arp, for example. And then you drag it from your project samples folder into bandmate. 
And I'll just put my notes up from a couple years ago, and you can just read it yourself, and that might help you get your bearings. So I'm Sean from Sheedy School. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe. Check out my free Facebook and Discord support groups. Links are below in the description. I have members' videos that get exclusive content. I hope to see you on the next one. Rock on.